Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Streamable Horror. And today we're going to be looking at Texas Chainsaw Massacre which came out in 1974 and is available on Tubi. This movie has a very simple plot, especially if you've ever seen a slasher movie once in your life. The movie is about a group of teenagers going to, to see that their old house in Texas for some reason. It's a really disgusting looking house by the way. And they get caught by some serial killers, which are very much so inspired by Ed Gein. And they start to get hunted down one by one. Um, it is, even though it has a very simple plot, the plot is very memorable. And one of the best plots for a slasher movie. And this is probably the best, one of the best slasher movies out there. I wouldn't even consider it a slasher. It's more of just a straight horror movie because slasher films kind of have a bad rap. But this one is not bad whatsoever. So this is a great movie. So we're going to go to the next part, which would be violence and gore. This movie is actually not very violent at all. The violence, it is all implied. So you don't explicitly see much. Most of the violence is actually off screen. But it's actually more implied than actually being shown. So almost every scene where like somebody's getting cut up by the chainsaw, it's all frameworking and stuff where like they'll have the upper half of the frame be the actor's reaction and you don't see any of it because this was still the 70s. So they still had a, a few restrictions when it came to gore. And this movie also was so when you watch it, most people don't realize it's actually not that gory. It's very violent, but it's not very gory. The Violence is mostly off screen, meaning that you don't see anything. So, most people think it's a lot more just because of how much it's implied. It's just something that people remember wrong because it's not very gory at all. And so, now let's get to the effectiveness. And this is a really effective movie. I'm just going to tell you that part before we get to it. I know I already said in the last section, this is one of the most effective horror films you can ever watch. Though Texas Chainsaw Massacre is extremely effective with what it's trying to get across to you, and even though all the violence is implied, it feels like a film that should be gorier, but it's actually not, so it's extremely effective, and every scene that it's in is extremely tense, and throughout the entire movie it's always like that. And the actors are great in this the, the entire time that they are just trying their own, you can tell. The teenagers, not so much, but when it gets to the kiss serial killers, that they're probably the craziest people you've ever seen on screen. And they are very effective throughout the entire movie. And they are probably some of the scariest serial killers that I've ever been shown on screen. And this is the one of the first slasher movies, and it's one of the best ones. So it is extremely effective, and it is pro it still holds up to this day. And now let's get on to the final thoughts and rating. For my final thoughts, I'm gonna say this is probably one of the best horror movies I've ever seen, and most people will see because, although it is pretty old, most people still think that this one was effective to this day. It is a Toby Hooper movie, which. A lot of people like his movies and this is some of the best if not the best horror making ever made I will say that basically anybody can watch this movie except for if you're just a little bit too sensitive because the scenes with the serial killers in the dinner dinner scene especially are extremely disturbing and some of the most disturbing scenes put the film and so you have to deal with some of those scenes, and the violence can be a little much, even though it's implied and not shown on screen. Um, but for my final thoughts, I will say anybody can watch this. This is this is an, anybody should watch. Everybody should watch this movie at least once. It's not very it's very disturbing, but it's not too much or something for anybody to handle. Um, so that's why I gave it a final rating of yes. Do watch it. Watch it now if you can. So. See you guys next week. Like and subscribe for more amazing content.